Our rooms are $30 a night, 10 every additional person. The Northland Hotel in Jackman, Maine. Has the price like stayed the same for 100 years or something? Um, it's been... 27 been years I've been here and it's been the same. It's been the price, yeah. 30 bucks a night for a while, right? A long time, yeah. Hi everybody, so I am here somewhere in Maine, the middle of nowhere, very beautiful place along the Kennebec River, driving on Route 201 from Maine to Quebec City, actually driving in daytime. It's now around, I don't know, 1.30 in the afternoon and this is a, a really nice rest area here with picnic tables that you could hang out in and I didn't get much sleep last night but I'm getting to enjoy this beautiful Kennebec River which is like in a valley with steep steep mountains on both sides of it and I read that this road 201 follows the ancient trails of the Abenaki Indians really beautiful drive along historic towns that seem like they haven't changed much in the last 50 years um, with general stores that have like moose heads and deer heads on the walls just passed through the town of Moscow, Maine, which is interesting actually. There's like one really old hotel in town and a general store. There's a town that drowned in 1931. I'm interested to see if they have a bathroom here or if I can pee in the woods or something. Oh, maybe this is a bathroom. A hole in the door. Ooh. So I passed the town of Moscow. That was cool. All these towns along here, all along the Kennebec River. Like from Moscow to the Forks is pretty picturesque. Table and chairs made out of rocks. It's pretty cool. And I guess I'll keep on driving, getting really sleepy. So, what is the old Canada road? The Canada road was created as a travel and trade road to connect Boston to Quebec City in the 1830s. And I'm actually driving on it now and I'm kind of going from Boston to Quebec City. Tens of thousands of French Canadians and Irish immigrants Men, women, and children walked the 200 mile distance from St. Lawrence River to the Gulf of Maine in search of jobs on farms and factories. Wow, they walked 200 miles. I mean, I enjoy stopping at all these rest areas and really interesting information here. Learned something about moose. I don't know if I'll remember it, but I guess it's. I'm gonna remember that they like to lick the salt. It says moose like to eat at regular hours and typically feed early in the morning and in the evening. Salt is an important part of their diet. They're also spotted alongside roads licking up excess salt from winter road maintenance. Oh, that's why they're on roads. They're licking up the salt from the winter road maintenance. How many moose? Following the suspension of moose hunting in 1935, Maine's moose population has rebounded. Today, there are approximately 30,000 moose in the state of Maine. We urge you to drive cautiously. Collisions with these animals can be deadly. Oh my god. I guess I'll keep on going. You are here. I'm not even that far from the border at this point. It's a cool mystery. I just can't resist stopping. Oh, there's people coming down the river in some kind of raft. I really wanted to see like one of the little log cabin hotels like right around here. My shadow is walking down the hill. I keep on taking video of my shadow actually. I really like my shadow. It's the middle of August and we're having apples. Maybe I'll pick one and it's not illegal. And there's so many on the ground here. And then I get to Jackman, and that's the border. There's like a railroad station here. 
I'm wondering if this is like if the train like still even passes here maybe there used to be a passenger train I wonder when was the last time the train passed through here whoa it's so destroyed inside what does that say? this hotel in Jackman, Maine actually has rooms for $30 a night seriously $30 a night where are you uh, from? Uh, Massachusetts. Mass? Yeah. So I didn't know you could get a hotel for $30 a night anywhere. <laughs> for this $30 a night room in America, what does that get you? Turn on the light first. Almost dark here. Okay, let's go see. For $30 a $30 a night. Your towels. Oh, it's even a cool picture. It's cute artwork. That's me in this $30 hotel room. I didn't know you could get that in the US. Let's go find the bathroom. What does this mean? Is this the bathroom? This is the bathroom. Oh, it looks pretty clean. Look at the way it closes. After I left this town, I got stuck at the Canadian border for about probably six hours and I was yelled at and fingerprinted and told that I would never be allowed back into Canada for the rest of my life. That's a whole other story for another video.